Welcome back everyone to part three of the Kerbal Space Program Apollo inspired trip using the, the MechJeb plugin. If you recall we left off on part two just landing on the moon so we will just continue from there. Check out part one and part two to watch both the ascent and how to use the other features of um, MechJeb. So uh, let's get going. Alright, so let's get my UI back. So let's be sure this engine shut down. Now let's shut this engine off. So what we're going to do is use the ascent guidance again. Altitude, we're going to go to 10 because right now the command module is about, about 20 kilometers out. So we'll do 10 to get just up so we're we don't use too much fuel. We need to edit this um, to make it work for the moon since these are the Earth or Kerbin settings. So we're going to do So we'll start turning at 4 since we're already at 2.5 and then we'll uh, end where we want in at 10. So let's take off here. We engage autopilot. So just like the Apollo uh, flights, they always left behind a the launcher's base there near the flag. Hope in future versions you can uh, walk around and leave footprints on the moon. I believe right over here you can kind of see it poking through. It's like an arc. I think that's something like memorial. I don't know. Um, next mission is going to go there. I wish I would have known that for this video. I would have uh, landed there. I only noticed it as I was coming in. So you can see that the command module is not going, uh, it's not going to be able to match us exactly, so we're actually going to be using the rendezvous autopilot that will pretty much handle pretty much up to the actual docking of the uh, two ports. So right now it's going it to hit 10, or it's about to hit 10, so it wants to push out in the orbit now. Feel free to skip ahead in the video, not much to see here. It's just, uh, I can't go any faster, and these are pretty long burns. This should be the, the longest one. Getting into a larger orbit um, from the command module is, it only takes 10 second burns. So this is the longest burn. I don't really know what a lot of this means. I mean, some some of it makes sense. I need to read more on the Delta V uh, 
numbers and all right so now I am in a, about a 10 kilometer orbit and as you can see the command module is about 20 out so this is where the rendezvous autopilot kicks in so we can close this and this so we're going we're gonna to select the command module as a target we want to get in, I will say about 10 meters. This is where uh, MechJeb again handles the majority of the work. Click uh, Autopilot. So the first thing it's going to do is match the plane. And as soon as we uh, get up a little higher, we can also time warp a little quicker. So this should make this video go a little quicker after this uh, next burn or two. I probably could have timed it better. Uh, I could have waited till the command module was maybe a quarter of the way before I took off so it would make the uh, docking a little bit quicker. Uh, I didn't really think about that until <laughs> right now, actually. Should be doing a burn here in uh, 30 seconds. It's a small burn. We are getting lower on fuel, but this isn't going anywhere. This is actually going to be crashed into the moon before we leave. See the planes are matched. So the next thing it's going to do is going to increase the orbit to actually be larger than what the orbit of the command module is. Luckily the moon doesn't have a huge gravitational pull so it doesn't take much to shift orbit. Uh, 10 second burns aren't too bad when you got small fuel tanks. Now it's going to transfer, uh, do a same thing we did when we left uh, Kerbin to get to the moon. So depending on where it is, it could have gone around a few more times to have the command module catch up. Luckily, I only had two orbits. So now it's going to, and it tells you what it's doing down here, it's going to do uh, intercept it to match the actual speeds at the closest point, which is right up here. So 
So there's the command module. And of course it's on the dark side, so it's harder to see. And it's just slowly getting closer and closer. It's going to try again here in a minute and a half. It's too bad that it's in the dark, so you can't see too much. I'm trying to keep it using this nice view. I speed this up here if I actually dis disengage autopilot. So I want to set the target of the port. And now do the docking. So disengage and engage. Lying right up, and it shouldn't dock here in a moment. Though I did this before where it stopped, so I might have to manually do it. It looks like I'm going to have to. It's kind of ugly there, but it, it docked now. So this is going to be the end of part three. Hopefully the final part, part four, will get us from the moon back on to Kerpen. Thanks for watching.